So say we have the function uh, f of x is equal, oops, is equal to x squared. Uh, now if we limit the domain, uh, we'll say that the domain is, let's go over here, we'll say x such that x here, and we'll say it's greater than or equal to negative 2 and smaller than 3. Right, so what's this going to look like? Well, if we start drawing it, we our parabola will have the points, remember, 1, 1, and one, negative 1, 1. And it can go up to and including negative 2. And uh, the y value sits at 4, right there. And same thing, it can go up to 4 here. Um, but now when we get up to, uh, I guess we'd go over to x is equal to 3, y would be equal to 9, so we're going to, I'm not sure, 9 is somewhere up here. Uh, it can't include x is equal to 3 though, so again we're going to have to draw a small circle, well it's a little bit bigger, but uh, so you can see that. And then here where it's able to include negative 2 to signify the end of the, the parabola or the, the function, we'll put a big black circle. So when we draw this, our parabola will look like that and it will stop there because it can't go any farther to the left than x is equal to negative 2. And our parabola will come up this way, oh, squiggly, will come up this way, and it will come right up to x is equal to negative 3, but it won't actually touch. You know, it can have negative, or it can have 2.999999, etc. It just will not be there. And so this gives us, well, this was our domain. This is the restricted domain that we were given. So what's our range for this function? Range. Um, well, the range would be, let's look at this. It goes down and it touches the point 0. So you know, write it right here. Why? So it we have the point 0 and it's greater than or equal to 0, right? As it touches 0 here. And then as it comes up, as it approaches 3, it's getting closer and closer to x is equal to 9. Um, but it's not actually going to, or sorry, y equals 9, but it's not actually going to touch. And we'll get more into that in the limit section. Uh, that's the next section coming up for the videos. But it will be smaller than 9. It just won't actually touch 9. And let's just do one more example over here of something that looks quite a bit different. Uh, let's do f of x. And we're going to say is equal to two different things. Uh, f of x is equal to 2 when... Uh, say when x is smaller than 3. And we'll say f of x is equal to something else. Let's say x minus 3 minus 3 when oops, I just want to write today. When x is greater than 3. Greater than 3. So we'll go over to 3 and we'll go up to 2 and we know that it's not actually touching 3 so we'll draw our circle here and then as we get any number smaller than 3 x will just stay 2 so we can just draw we'll use a straight line and it's gonna look something like that or it will look like that so now we have to consider all of the values for x that are greater than 3 so um, we'll look at this and when we see here uh, for any value of x greater than 3, the equation of the line is going to have a slope of 1 with a y-intercept of negative 3. So if we just think about what the graph of y equals x minus 3 would look like, well, the y-intercept would be negative 3 and the slope would be 1. So it would go up like this. But we can only describe this line here for values that are greater than x is equal to 3. So we would have to erase this part down here because these are values of x that are smaller than x is equal to 3. And for here, for the, the point at x is equal to 3, we would have to again draw an open circle because it doesn't include x is equal to 3. So if we want to look at our domain in a range, um, our, our domain is equal to, sometimes you can just write a capital D to describe domain. Uh, domain is equal to all the real numbers except for where x is equal to 3. So we can write it like this. We've used this notation before. Uh, the real number r with a backslash and 3. 
just saying all the real numbers except for three. And the range, uh, you can actually sometimes just use a capital E to uh, signify the range. And it is, uh, it's all of the positive y numbers, excluding zero. So we have y such that y is greater than zero. And you can see that here because it's not actually touching the line. Um, so we know for a y value we could have 0 0.00001. Keep getting smaller, but it's never going to touch the x-axis.